What's up guys? Today I've just got another pickup video. Happy May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I'm still on a comic book kick. I've got a few gaming items too. So let's go ahead and get started. I got some pretty cool stuff to show you. So this is a big reason why I made this video to begin with. Today was free comic book day, so I had a little uh, trip with getting some things. I was a kid in a candy store once again. First off, Street Fighter vs. Final Fight. Really interesting. I haven't read through any of these yet because I just got it today, but it seems pretty cool. I mean, how can you go wrong with Street Fighter? Anybody that knows me, come on. Pretty neat. Next up, I had to get this because it looks so ridiculous. Mad Magazine comic. Very old school style artwork in this. So yeah, looking forward to reading that. I've never heard of this. Blood Hunt uh, with Uncanny X-Men. But it looked pretty cool. Cool artwork. Really dig this. Uh, Daredevil. I'm a 90s kid, so of course I had to get some Ninja Turtle action. Who is Night Watcher? Reminds me of the last run and sort of the way the artwork is. Well, no, not really. When you get a little further, it doesn't. Might be because I saw those uh, advertisements in there. Was excited to get this one. Hellboy. I love Hellboy. Supposedly it features something from Stranger Things. Never took the time to watch Stranger Things. Okay, Stranger Things comics is like a double thing. Year of the Villain. This looked pretty interesting, too. Is he Bane on there? Wow. That's some good artwork there. Oh, yeah. This is going to be cool. The Avengers. I know nothing about the Avengers, so I got it. I really don't know anything about Marvel Comics in general. I'm more of a DC person. Really, I don't know much of anything about comics at all, but because I'm pretty new at this still. That's really cool. Spider-Man and Venom. Some of these were also from last year. They let you pick from both this year and last year. They had a stand for both, so that's why I got like 10 of them. Superman Unchained. Scott Snyder, I got that because I like Scott Snyder. That's, ah, Reggie Watts, cool. Fuck shit stack. Before Watchmen. Advertisement for that. And last of the free comic book days. Seismic Stories. Never even heard of it, but it looked interesting, the cover did. There was also a lot of people in there, so I'd really try to just pick my stuff and get out of the way as soon as I could. So in addition to all the free comic book day stuff, I picked up some stuff as well because everything just about that was in the store was on sale at 25% off. This was at Capital City Comics in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. I'm not being asked to plug them. Those guys barely know me. I just like to support my local, uh, local comic store because I want them to stay where they are. So anyway, Weapon X Wolverine. I've always heard people reference Wep Weapon X so I figured this is a popular enough one. I guess it must be pretty decent. Really cool artwork. So, And uh, I haven't read really any Marvel comics, so excited to jump into that. Next up, we have Spawn. This is a character that I've always been curious about, but I never really checked out anything from them. I've always known about Spawn since I was a kid. Todd McFarlane, you know, thought he was a cool character, but yeah. So this will be my first uh, graphic novel with Spawn. I also hear about a death in the family, Batman, constantly, so I decided to finally get it. Death of Jason Todd, I guess. Next up, I wanted to check out X-Men, like I said, and this is a big, thick graphic novel for Ultimate X-Men. 
Uh, the guy over there that works there said this is a good place to start if I've not read any of the comics. And I like a lot of the more modern artwork, so... Um, this was only 10 bucks. This was in their bargain bin. That's why the slip cover's a little rough. But yeah, 10 bucks for this. Look at all that. Pretty thick one. That's going to be a lot to read through, so that's going to be fun. By the way, have any of you watched X-Men 97? Um, if you have, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. I started watching it, and it's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is the first couple episodes are like a fucking soap opera, so that was kind of cringy, but besides that, it's a really cool series. I'm really excited to keep watching. Last but not least of today's trip, I got this behemoth of a collection. All of the Transmetropolitan volumes uh, for 80 bucks. I think that's pretty good for all of this, don't you think? Volume 1 through 10. Really excited to uh, look into these. Um, I've seen a lot of articles saying, like, after Watchmen, if you're a fan of Watchmen, to check this series out. And, well, I'm a huge fan of Watchmen. And uh, the guys over there said that if you're offended easily, to not read these. So, of course, I wanted to read them, because that's how I am. Next up, me and the wife have been doing some thrift store shopping and some flea marketing. And I found a few things in the past couple weeks that I thought were pretty cool. So I've been reading a lot of Swamp Thing, and there's a guy there, this older guy that just had a bunch of random junk, of course, because it's a flea market, but he had a few comics that were all half off, and I think I actually got more than half off because I bought multiple things from him, but because I've been into Swamp Thing, here's one. Don't pay attention to that price. I didn't pay that. There's another. And these aren't the Alan Moore issues. Really like the cover of that one. That's cool. This one's in a little rough shape, but it also looks like the oldest of them all. Not sure what years these are. I haven't really done my homework on these, but either way, uh, cool to have them. I barely paid anything for all these. Next up, from the same seller, I got this cool box set. It was actually sealed when I bought it. Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo collection. Uh, this is volume 4, 5, and 6, so I need to get 1, 2, and 3 before I start really diving into these. But I love Batman stuff, so... And this was only seven bucks. And here's an example of some of the artwork. So here's uh, Zero Year Secret City. Looks pretty cool. I like a lot of Scott Snyder stuff that I've read so far. I like uh, Red Court of Owls. I liked that a lot. And for my final comic slash graphic novel pickup, this is a whopper. The whole set of Saga of the Swamp Thing by Alan Moore. Again, I love Alan Moore stuff so far. Um, Watchmen's my favorite comic of all time, which I'm sure it's... that You've probably heard that a thousand times, but I don't care. Anyway, I am loving this series. I'm on book four so far, and this is a really cool set. Um, it does have the original coloring and all that. There is a Absolute Edition that I want to get as well. That's all of these, and the artwork is just beautiful. I'll show a picture showing the comparison of that. Here's the back of the box. Here's the spine on one side, front, and the spines of the books themselves. I love the way they did this. It just looks amazing. Really cool presentation. And here's an example of the artwork for the Swamp Thing books. Again, this is the original art, original coloring, and I really like the way they did this. It is super detailed despite its age. And this has honestly become one of my favorite series as well. There's just so much uh, crazy stuff that happens. The character's really cool in general. Look at that. Look at the detail on this. Some people don't like the Absolute Edition, but I want it anyway. I think it looks amazing. Um, I want both. I want to have my cake and eat it too, but I'm going to wait until I finish reading all these before I actually go for the Absolute. But yeah, I love this. And here are the games that I've accumulated from either thrift stores or just stupid deals on lines, or the flea market that I was mentioning earlier. So here's Moto Racer for PS1. Classic, came uh, complete. Sled Storm, I wasn't familiar with this, but it was a dollar, so I had to get it. And I do like snow, uh, snowmobile type things. I like snowboarding, skiing, whatever. So this should be pretty cool. Snow Cross, also a dollar. And in great shape. Came complete. 
I got this because I had Polaris Snowcross on the Game Boy Color back in the day. So when I saw this, I immediately grabbed it. Streak Hoverboard Racing. This is a childhood favorite. Um, think Jet Moto, but you're on hoverboards. And it has a badass soundtrack. And it goes really, really, really fast. Um, it's really fun. You can do tricks and things. Nobody talks about this game. Seriously, check it out if you like Jet Moto. Complete once again. And this is something that just jogged my memory one day when I was watching videos, and I just went on eBay and grabbed it. This is really special to me. Uh, this is uh, something that I got when I first got my PS1 when I was a kid. And a lot of people, they sleep on these demo discs, these PlayStation Underground demo discs, but there's a lot of cool things about these that give you more than just the games themselves. You get, like, access to import uh, demos or news, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes footage, like uh, Stuart Copeland is on here, uh, showing about how he made the uh, soundtrack of Spyro. Really awesome stuff. They got game saves on here, too. Seriously, check these out when you can, because, I mean, yeah, they're demos, but get these for the things that are not the demos. Get it for the cool video footage, the behind-the-scenes stuff. There's a lot of extras and just interesting things about these PlayStation Underground discs. Here are the last of the flea market and thrift store finds. Ninja Gaiden for the NES. Classic. This one I actually didn't get at a thrift store. Um, I just got it online for a couple bucks. Um, when that uh, craze with that kid who literally beat the game so bad that it froze, I may, I, it made me want to uh, try this. And well, I did not get very far at all, like level 10 maybe. Wheel of Fortune. I like game show games. What can I say? Especially the really old ones. Dr. Mario. Got that for like three, four dollars. And Paperboy. I remembered at the last second when I was putting my camera up, I forgot to show these. It's also got Metroid Prime Remastered. I paid, uh, I think, 30 bucks for this at Walmart uh, when they were marking stuff down. I love this remaster. It is so good. If you've played Metroid Prime, you know what I'm talking about. Got Sonic Superstars. Can't remember how much this was. I think it was 20. Um, a lot of people really didn't like this game. It got mixed reviews. I like it a lot. I think it's one of the best Sonic games in quite a while uh, next to Sonic Mania. I think that's the best modern Sonic game, but this is really good. Um, I wouldn't sleep on this. Give it a try. Um, I've seen people talk shit about it, but it's really fun. Now, enough with the good Sonic games. This one is total fucking garbage. This I always wanted to try out for several years, ever since it came out, but I never had a PS3 back in the day, but it looked really fun on videos. I really thought it looked fun despite all the crap that people talked about it. Then I played it. I want my $6 back. It's not that it's poorly designed per se, it just runs like shit. Uh, I mean, it's unplayable. The frame rate is so bad. Yeah, skip this piece of shit. For the final pickup, I finally got myself a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, this is an AGS 101 model, but it's a reshell, but a very good reshell. As you can see, it has the really good AGS screen. Honestly, I prefer the AGS screen over the new IPS screens only because the IPS screens have some input lag that this doesn't. This is more like 30 milliseconds. The newer ones are around 86 milliseconds, so that's why I went with this. Also, the way the uh, pixel density is on here, it's just super sharp. And I imagine, I don't know for sure, but I imagine the IPS screens would not be quite the same because they're upscaled. And as you can see, I also got a flash cart for it, of course. Here's the menu. I've been looking for a Game Boy Advance SP for a couple years now. The last time I had one is when I was like in middle school because of course I switched over to the DS Lite when that came out, then the PSP, whatever. But there's nothing quite like playing a Game Boy Advance game on an actual Game Boy Advance. It just looks better. Um, it plays ever so slightly better. But yeah, I mean you can you can emulate the GBA all you want, whatever device, it's still not going to look as good as this. I was trying to find it at the right price. A couple years ago, I found an AGS 101 at a local game store, 
for 80 bucks. Fast forward a couple years, the going price on these fucking doubled. So I just figured it's now or never. Before I wrap this video up, I wanted to show this restaurant my wife and I went to and brag on them a little bit. This place is called Darshan Restaurant and Bar, and they're located in Reynoldsburg, Ohio. The owners walked into the comic book store because they're literally right next door in the same strip mall, and they gave everybody coupons. So on a whim, we decided to give it a shot. I didn't know what to expect because I didn't really think it'd be my thing. It's a Nepali Indian restaurant. But oh my good lord, it is some of the best food I've ever eaten in my life. Super flavorful, pretty unique for the area it's in, and B, we didn't know what we wanted to order, so we ordered like six things and even got an entree to go so we could try it. And there is seriously not a single thing I tasted there that wasn't a five all day. Um, same people also own a boba tea shop, which is also next door, and that was really good too. Just a typical boba tea shop, but it was also a five out of five. I would definitely go back there. And uh, if you're near Reynoldsburg, Ohio, seriously, give this place a shot, even if you're not into Indian food. It is awesome. Uh, prices are pretty good, too. Uh, if you get an entree for yourself, it's only about 13 bucks, give or take a dollar. And on that note, that's all for today. If you do want to chat with me about what I showed here, feel free to comment below. This channel is meant for friends and like-minded hobbyists to chill out and share things they love. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.